So in this video, we're looking at how to find the correlation coefficient on new Casio calculator, the FX83GTX+. So this is for the new Casio calculator, as you see there in the picture. Before we find our correlation coefficient, which we'll do now in just about 30 seconds, we just need to reset our calculator. So it's vitally important that when you're finding, say, the correlation coefficient, the mean, the standard deviation on your calculator, you must reset your calculator. So let's do that first. So if you're not sure, just follow these short instructions. You press the shift key on your calculator, then you press the nine for reset, then follow the online instructions. So set up data, yes, I want to reset. So I press one. I then press equals for to confirm yes. And then I press AC and I am now fully reset. So let's have a look at an example now of the correlation coefficient. But again, vital that you reset your calculator. So this question, is asking us to find the correlation coefficient from the data in this table. On the left-hand side here, I've outlined the instructions, but we'll go through them here on the calculator as well, but just if you want to follow the bullet points as well. So first thing you need to do on your calculator is go to menu and press two where it shows the little histogram, which means statistics basically. So you press the two key. You then press the two key again, and you should now see a function table appearing with a column for X and a column for Y. I'm gonna put the top line of my data in as X and the bottom line in as Y. So on your calculator, just go 11 equals. And you should hit the equals because it won't go into the table otherwise. 17 equals, 15 equals, 13 equals, 12 equals, 10 equals. If a number repeats, it must go in. So 10 goes in three times. 12 equals, 14 equals. I now use the arrow key to come over to the Y column and I scroll all the way back up to my first input. So what corresponds with the 11? It's the 13 on the bottom line. So I input 1, 3 for 13, hit the equals button. 21 equals, 20 equals, 19 equals, 15 equals, 16 equals, 12 equals, 14 equals, 14 equals, 17 equals. To save the data now in your table, I have 10 pieces of information here. I hit the AC button. Your screen should go blank. I now want to retrieve the data. So I come over here to the button that says OPTN. I press the option button and I press three for regression calculations. That used to be REG on the old calculator. So press three in your calculator. You will now see three pieces of information, A, B and OR. OR stands for correlation coefficient in mathematics. So you can see on this distribution of data, my correlation coefficient is now 0 0.865. And depending on the question, it'll ask you to one decimal or two decimals or whatnot. Remember that your correlation coefficient goes from zero to positive one or zero to negative one. So if you're doing a question at home, you can see that your correlation coefficient might be a negative answer, but it should always range from minus one to one. And that's the correlation coefficient on the new Casio calculator. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.